Dr. Swarchla, Scientific Director with Ziva Fertility Centers. Often when you come for fertility evaluation or you're suffering from infertility and you come to evaluate yourself to find out what the problem is, prolactin is a common hormone that is assessed. Often patient asks if FSH, LH, thyroid, all these are normal. Why is prolactin so very important when treatment for infertility is about to begin? So we'll try to understand what prolactin is and what it does how does it bring about pro-fertility features in a patient? So prolactin basically in females brings about oocyte maturation and fertilizability. The corpus luteum formation and survival is very critical because of prolactin release. What I mean by that is that when an egg is released, that follicle from which the egg releases is called as corpus luteum. So when the egg releases, this corpus luteum is very critical for progesterone release. Progesterone will then bring about implantation capacity to the endometrium. So it's very critical that prolactin be normal for corpus luteum to work well to be able to generate progesterone. Next, it also helps in improvement of blastocyst implantation. This is very critical, isn't it? Because when progesterone is released, then the implantation capacity of the endometrium also increases. The embryo endometrial synchronization also is brought about by a normal prolactin level in a female patient. The survival for low motile sperms in the uterus, in the environment of cervix and uterus also is very critical when the prolactin levels are normal. So if the motility of the sperms are compromised, if the prolactin levels are normal, there is high chance that this low uh, motility sperms will survive better in the uterus. It is also very useful in the blood flow to the endometrium. So prolactin is very critical and it has to be examined in female patients. Likewise, let us see what happens when prolactin levels are high. There is a dysfunction in the cells that are surrounding the egg. When prolactin levels are high, what happens is that these hormones which are very critical for eggs to grow are not passed to the egg. So it's not uh, able to grow or ovulate. So this crosstalk between the cells around the egg and the egg is also impaired if prolactin levels are high. Like I said, if it is high, the corpus luteum is also not formed. The endometrial dysfunction is there. There is decreased implantation capacity of the endometrium and decreased GnRH production and by that I mean the follicle stimulating hormone and luteinizing hormone which are very critical for egg growth, endometrial capacity, endometrial receptivity are also compromised. So high prolactin is not good for fertility. Now infertility is a very frequent problem and in uh, infertile women, young women, 50 to 80 percent have hyperprolactinemia as in it is a little higher than it should be. So it's called as moderate to severe. That's when treatment for prolactin should be given. However, it's very important to note that when it is very mild, it does not cause menstrual disturbances and problems in ovulation. But if it is moderate or severe, it will definitely interfere with menstrual cycles which means that it will also interfere with ovulation. This study was a literature review. They wanted to see what the literature, what statistics are talking about in terms of hyperprolactinemia and a fertility potential of a patient. So let's see what data was presented. Definitely it was evaluated because of previous studies that high prolactin can cause hypogonadotropic hypogonadism and annulation. Like I said, because the gonadotropins are not properly released, the FSH and LH production is compromised. Therefore, there are problems in ovulation as well. And they saw that patients who were aged 20 to 44 years with infertility or had a history of recurrent pregnancy loss, treatment for this high prolactin, normalized prolactin levels after two to five months, restored ovulatory cycles within three to seven months, and allowed pregnancy in all cases within three to seven months with a low rate of miscarriage. So you can see it's very important that prolactin, high prolactin, whether it is moderate or severe, it should be treated so that it brings down your miscarriage rate, it brings up your ovulation rates and therefore pregnancy chances and a better chance of a live birth rate. When your fertility specialist advises you to get prolactin checked, it's very critical that you get it done so that treatment can begin immediately and results will also be seen very shortly. If you wish to understand more about this, please feel free to contact us. Thank you. A lot of effort has gone into making this video. Please like and subscribe us. Thank you.